Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to do clean and stable circle. Oh! Okay, let's go. Yeah, so when I was chewing up, I was really bad up on my horse. It was so tiring, I couldn't balance very well, something like that. So I was always wondering like why the you know really good gymnasts they can do for my horse that good. You know, their circle, they look really easy, then their body portion is actually really clean. How could these two be, you know, together at the same time? When I try to make really clean circle, I have to spend so much energy to do it, and that was so tiring that could never be easy to make clean circle. But, you know, like I've been coaching gymnastics, and now I have some idea how we can do circle easy and clean. So, in this video, I'm gonna share about my idea. So, before I talk about my idea, I wanna explain like, how I got the idea. So, first, like I wanna introduce my gymnast. He had a problem with uh, his back support. He around his around shoulder too much so he couldn't balance very well and um, because of that after that he when he got side support he had to about legs to balance so i really wanted to fix this problem because he's such a good kid like i really want to help him so what i started doing is like let's going back to basic let's do back support and side support to check you know what body portion we wanna make so it's like this just doing back support try to make our body portion straight try to open chest instead of rounding around chest so that was what we are doing however like that didn't work so the next step was this like showing this chinese guy i don't know how to pronounce his name i just remember his uh, gymnastics was really good and um, pomejos he was one of my favorite for my host player so yeah then I show this like back support so we wanna make this then just let's try to do this but yeah that didn't work very well and yeah I started to compare like what's different between my gymnast and this back support then I, I realized I made really big mistake so that's like I was focusing on our body too much, chest to toes. However, like I didn't even think about I want to see these uh, arms, this angle. So this Chinese guy, his uh, arms is like pretty much 45 degrees. It's like really, if you try this on the floor, you understand how hard this is. I think he could do this because he was doing circle. It's easier to make this angle, but you understand, you know, instead of opening the shoulder, actually, we have to lean backwards to balance. So, this is my idea how to make clean and easy uh, circle. It's like, let's think about, yeah, I want you to see this picture. Let's think about center of our body while we are doing circle. I would say that's around uh, our wrist. This is center of our movement. So let's say this uh, back support portion. If we lean our body this much, then we can make you know our upper body and the lower body. The weight is like pretty much 50-50. Uh, so we can balance very well. So this is like uh, what my gymnast was doing. If we bring our body forward to make pike portion, that would be like we get too much body weight on forward, like our lower body. And what we have to do is like because our body is falling this way so we somehow have to bend arms or something to you know try to stay here so we wouldn't wanna be back support in back support we just wanna go through this portion as soon as possible so i think this was happening to my gymnast but what i was doing is like try to stretch our body i want you to see this his shoulder shoulders are above their wrist if he stretch his toes forward, what will happen is like there is no way he can balance. What he had to do was leaning backwards, then that makes easier to 
balance and he could stretch his body. So this is my idea. Then if you see so many good gymnasts, picture of their circle, you can understand their side support, 45 degrees, forward 45, backwards 45, something like that. So I want you to think about it. Then actually we fix it. Then my gymnast, he could barely do 10 loop circle on Pomehos with our handle. However, like after we run about that idea, then three days later, he could do Magia on Pomehos. So because that was easier to balance and actually stretching his body makes easier to balance and getting more speed. I think this is the answer why high level gymnasts they could stretch their body and they could do circle easily. Yeah, I think that's it. When I was gymnast, I really tried how to stretch my body. But maybe what I was doing is, is like on our wrist and shoulders. My body was, you know, going around my shoulders and my wrist. However, like with this idea, what I should have done is around my wrist, my shoulder and my toes go around like this so I could balance all the time yeah so this is my idea right now but if you are gymnast actually I want you to try this technique when we get back to gym then I would like you to let me know that worked very well or not I tried that was easier than my previous circle actually so I would like to try this then if you are coach you know like Circle is like we have to do every day. So it's like if we learn circle with bad technique, you know, we can read off that pretty much forever. So maybe when gymnasts are young, maybe it will be good idea, you know, we think about this idea to coach gymnasts. And also if you guys have different idea, better idea, please let me know. Okay, thank you for watching. Then in Next video, I'm gonna explain how I would teach this technique to young gymnasts. Like, how to teach this technique. Okay. See ya.